Hi guys, um, I just thought I'd uh, do another video for you uh, to give you an update of where we are <coughs> and where I believe we're going to be. Um, obviously, not not a great position to be in, um, but this year sort of uh, we're sort of getting used to it now, I believe. Um, so, um, just going to explain um, the reason for our decision to actually shut again. Um, being in tier two. Uh, has really not helped us at all. It's it's um, you know having the, only the one household mixing and, and whatever else, and no one coming in for a drink um, has literally killed the business uh, completely dead. We, we obviously we gave it a go. We opened up for the three weekends in December, um, and just to sort of give you an idea for the reason why we're shutting, even though we're still in tier two and we're still officially allowed to open, is that we are losing about. Two thousand pound a week to be open, so really, uh, really pointless from a from a business perspective. Um, and another reason um, that we we have chosen to um, to shut uh, is is basically the the relaxation over the Christmas period. Which now, when, when we made the decision, it was the five days of the relaxation. Now, obviously, it's only the one day, Christmas Day. Um, but we didn't want to put any of you under any extra pressure with confrontation with people being prats and uh, just wanting to come in for a drink and not understanding the rules and, and, and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and also with, with the amount of people that we felt would be breaking the rules and turning up for in, in their holiday homes and uh, whatever else from uh, higher, higher tier areas, we didn't want to put you at any uh, risk. So... Um, so that, that's why we made the decision to shut. Um, uh, another reason we felt uh, more comfortable in shutting was because we knew we had a little bit of money that, that all of us had worked hard for over the summer period uh, put aside, which we didn't have uh, on the first lockdown. And um, hopefully if I've got my estimations right, even if we have to stay shut now until sort of end of February, early March, you know, we, we have got enough money to see us through um, and, uh, you know, hopefully relatively comfortably. Um, and, and that's, uh, you know, that, that, that was a, that was a big, um, a big reason for, for the decision as well. So um, my, my expectations of when we are going to reopen. Um, so I truly believe now that literally any day um, we're going to be told that we'll be in a, a full lockdown for a minimum of four to six weeks, as in nationally. So that will effectively take us to the end of January, um, I think, as a bare minimum. <clears throat> um, and I, I can I can see that extending into February for at least two or three weeks, potentially for the whole month of February. Um, but I would like to believe that by March time, hopefully by mid-March, you know, we'll be back open again. I would imagine we'll still be opening with um, some form of, um, uh, you know, some form of rules and, and whatever, but I hope that it's back to the sort of rule of six um, where we can effectively open as close to normally as possible, albeit in, in you know, smaller tables and whatever else, but that actually, you know, it, it, it enabled the business to be uh, operating um, uh, at a profit. So that's my my expectation. Um, we're not going to be doing click and collect Sundays throughout December. Potentially, you know, we'll have a chat in the first week of January and see if um, that's what uh, you guys want to do again. I'm uh, more than happy to carry on doing that, but let's just at least have Christmas and, uh, and whatever off. Um, so... Where where does it put you? I mean, I don't know whether you're aware, but it, uh, furlough's now been extended to the end of April. So you will be receiving 80% of your wages um, and uh, at least until the, the the end of April that the government are supporting. So, you know, uh, your jobs, to, as far as we're concerned today, are all still very much safe. Um, and coming out of uh, the the lockdown in, in the in the future um you know we'll be opening up in in phases again like we did previously um and you know 
as far as I'm concerned, all of your jobs will be will be very safe. Um, one thing that I'm about to work on when I finish this video is organising your holidays in citation for next year. Um, I don't know whether I made it clear enough to you, uh, but basically when we've been in lockdown and whatever else, you all still accrue holidays. Um, so most of you haven't taken any holiday from last year, or the sorry, the, the year that we're in, uh, or if you have, it's certainly a reduced um, amount, even though you've all you know enjoyed some time off. Um, so what um, I promised you and what I will continue to promise is that whatever you didn't have this year, we're going to carry over into next year, into 2021. Um, I can't promise that, um, you know, all of you will get all of that holiday in 2021. But again, if that doesn't happen, what will naturally happen is it will still carry over from 20, 2021 into 2022. So none of you will lose your holiday. OK, um, so that really is it from me in a nutshell. We're sort of quite used to doing this now. So um, enjoy uh, your Christmas and your New Year off, because when you're in catering, it's not something that, that um, we ever really get. So um, even though it's going to be a weird one and, and, and not um, a normal Christmas, you know, you know, guys, you're not working. Enjoy it. Um, uh, I, I know that I will be and Donna will be because it's the first one for me personally for over 30 years. So um, I'm really excited to not be working over the Christmas period. Um, can I just say uh, a massive thank you to all of you, each and every one of you, for doing what you have done this year. It's been a hard year. It's been a tough year. But you have absolutely smashed it out of the park. Um, all the reviews that we've been getting are all very, very positive. Um, and I can't thank, uh, can't thank you enough. Um, and you know, you know, I, I know that when we reopen again, we'll be able to reopen with confidence and still do the same thing, and um, you know, continue along that line. So thank you very, very much, guys. Have a great Christmas and happy new year. And let's hope, keep the fingers crossed, that next year will be a prosperous year and um, we'll, we'll all be smiling and, and hopefully uh, COVID free. Anyway, thank you guys. Um, I look forward to seeing you soon. And uh, yeah, take care.